Hey guys, how's it going? So it's been a while since I made a video, um, probably pre-hurricane, which is September-ish. Um, just a lot of stuff been going on. Uh, of course, hurricane hit, so videos for fishing are completely gone. Now we're getting hit with red tide. We're here in February, so that's another thing. Um, now, uh, shooting range is back open, so I've been able to get back into shooting and everything, but it's just been a little difficult trying to get everything back situated. But today, I'm bringing you another, uh, just kind of like an unboxing review. I only have about 100 rounds through this gun, so it can only give my first impressions on it. I can't give it more of a reliability standpoint. But uh, the gun is the Q Honey Badger. So the Honey Badger uh, is a, built to be a lightweight platform in the 300 blackout. In this gun, um, it's beautiful. I have no problems with this so far. It is clear, so just showing you guys that. Safety checks, safety first. Um, with this gun, it was actually uh, originally built to for SOCOM, and uh, it was being built to replace the MP5 SD, which was supposed to be integrally suppressed, which they do have a version of that. I did not go with the integral suppression one for one main reason is I wanted to keep this super compact and lightweight. Uh, this total gun weighs about five and a half pounds with the optic, which is ridiculously light. Um, I can't say they could have done a better job on this gun. I shot it. Uh, it's like nothing I've ever shot. Um, I kind of got this for a special purpose. Uh, big news coming here from uh, Florida Man Outdoors is I have a baby on the way. So I convinced the wife that if since we have a baby, I need to get something that I can suppress. That way, if I have to have to shoot it indoors, I won't completely ruin his or her hearing won't know the gender for another month. But so, um, yeah, so I told the wife I wanted to get something to suppress and she said, that's fine. And I got approval to get this bad boy. And it is exactly what I wanted. Just something lightweight, compact, very easy to use. And um, I've got to say it's ridiculously nice. Uh, the trigger on here is like nothing I've ever seen. Uh, this is the Q trigger, which is, um, I want to say they call it the best trigger ever or the world's greatest trigger or something like that and it is like nothing nothing just literally there is no take up and there's a wall that's beautiful the reset on here is just that's the reset so it's just it's something crazy uh, i've never never thought i was going to see something like that out of you know a trigger that's not geisley or not you know the a company that's pretty much making the first trigger so uh that is one of the things i really do like about this um now this gun is not cheap at all so you're looking at close to three thousand dollars for this which is very pricey um but i'm on the understanding that it's better to buy a more expensive gun like have one gun that can do it than having three of them to kind of you know uh, a lot of people have like 10 cheaper guns i would rather have one very nice reliable gun than having 10 guns that aren't that reliable um just at least for my that's where i stand on it but um i'll show you guys a little bit this is a clear anodized finish on here um so you can't really color match this finish it's very hard to do um what anodizing it clear anodized is it's just the raw aluminum um and then it's the anodizing on it pretty much just changes the little color and it's just can't match it i'll put it that way i'm not a scientist so I'm not gonna get into that detail but um with this gun i did put the eotech uh 300 blackout um on there which is a holographic site you guys probably seen my other 300 blackout build uh, that i did before that was actually a gift for my brother so um swat gave that over to him and took the optic traded him an optic so this is the new build the new one um just very very happy with it uh can't really say much other uh, about it. Um, with this, you do have a 75 degree throw lever, which is a little bit different. Um, wasn't, you know, I don't want to say it's anything crazy. Uh, 45 degrees to me are is a really nice one for a quick, you know, just throw off safety. But the difference uh, is uh, what Q did is they decided to go with the Radian 75 degree because it is safer in their opinion or in whatever testings they did. So they did go with a Radian safety, a Radian Raptor charging handle. 
um, that they also clear anodize. And you can see the Q on there. Um, this is the Q pistol brace on here. Um, it, one thing that I didn't know about this that I'll let you guys know if you're shopping for the Q Honey Badger. Um, the recoil spring in here is not, this is not a basic AR platform. So I probably didn't do enough research on it when I bought it. Um, it's very strange uh, to where you have a guide rod in the buffer, where the buffer would be in buffer two. And uh, that guide rod pretty much, and then you're gonna have the bu buffer actually connects to the bolt. So um, it's just strange. So you have the bolt carrier, buffer goes into the bolt, that holds the spring in and then the spring gets fed into the buffer tube that has a guide rod. Um, something that I've never really seen before. Um, I will say it does make this shoot like a dream. So it is really unique. Uh, only gripe on that is going to be the disassembly and reassembly. Um, I can definitely see damaging one or two of those springs in the future. I haven't done it before. I've already disassembled this twice and cleaned it twice. And um, I've already taken it to the range. So uh, I haven't issued, I'm uh, sorry, I haven't damaged it yet, but I will say that uh, it is something that I can see happening with some people. Um, just be very cautious and careful. Uh, probably watch one or two videos before you decide to disassemble or reassemble the gun. Uh, it does have a flared mag weld, really nice flared mag weld. Makes reloading very easily. Uh, makes reloading very easy. And uh, over here we're running the Q Cherry Bomb. That's the muzzle brake that comes on it. Now, uh, this is a quick attach for the Q Thunder Chicken, which may or may not be on the way, and uh, the Q uh, Trash Panda. Now, one thing that I will say about that is this may come stock on this gun, but one also comes with the Thunder Chicken and the Trash Panda. So I find that kind of one of those things to where I wish they would have taken $100 off that can if you already had the muzzle brake so just throwing that out there but i will say it is a very comfortable gun to shoot uh one more gripe on here uh it is a tech they say two position if you count this as a position um on the brace and this is the other position on the brace so you have a super compact or you have a very long configuration um Almost question whether I can just cut another notch into this um, midway because for me it's perfect. Uh, I just know for the wife it's not it's going to be way too long for her to get a comfortable cheek weld on here. But um, that's what training for. So the more you train, the more comfortable you make it. Um, now this is a DI gun, uh, so direct impingement. It's not a gas piston. Uh, that's how they kept it so lightweight. Uh, by being a DI gun, a lot of people brought up questions on reliability. Um, I only shot supersonics through it so far. This is AAC ammo in here. I shot some SNBs. Uh, AAC ammo, uh, I haven't really ran much of it. It's pretty good. Um, haven't had any issues yet. Funny thing is, is pre pretty ironic. This gun was actually developed uh, by... Um, AAC originally, and uh, the owner of the company, can't remember his name off the top of my head, um, but he ended up working with AAC, moved over to SIG, and then decided to open up Q and develop the actual Honey Badger for the commercial market. So kind of strange that Palmetto State Armory buys AAC, and now I got their ammo to run through the gun. Um, now, uh, the guys who actually developed this gun actually developed a 300 Blackout cartridge. So... By developing the cartridge and the gun and everything, it runs really flawless. It runs flaw. It's probably going to run flawless suppressed from what I've seen. It does. I uh, haven't actually been able to get my suppressor on here. So uh, one thing I will say, this is an adjustable gas block. Also, it comes with tools to adjust it. Just a little cut right in the rail, if you can see that guy. So uh, that makes it, you know, really easy to tune directly for what uh, um, grain you're going to be shooting and what suppressor and all that stuff. So you don't have to run the uh, Thunder Chicken or Trash Panda on here. Uh, they do make an adapter for the muzzle brake that you can throw on other cans. Um, like I wanna say it's called their Plan B. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and then you can throw that on other cans and then quick detach uh, that to this one or quick attach. Now, uh, one thing, this is a taper device. So what the tapers do is they actually make it concentric for when you're threading it on 
uh, it just locks it in tighter, reduces uh, carbon um, lock, and then also uh, it's just a quick attach, quick detach. So it's pretty nice. Just the tapers, tapers are the way. Um, now there is uh, one other gripe I have on here, which is more due to weight savings, but Q makes a device for it, is the sling mount. Um, you have a sling mount here, uh, and then you're going to have no other sling mount. I don't know if they wanted you to run this as a one point, but I don't really want to run it as one point. So they make a device. Uh, can't remember the name off the top of my head, but uh, what the device does, it actually helps you attach a sling up front through some paracord. Uh, they make their G sling from Q, which is probably what I'm going to run on here. Uh, if not, I think there's uh, another company that makes a super compact uh, sling. I think it's Sherman something. But uh, anyways, I'll try and post it down in the link when I get one, or down in the comments when I get one. But overall, first impressions on this, I think it's beautiful. Uh, very lightweight, very comfortable. The wife likes it. The guy, my buddy shot it. They all liked it. Uh, super accurate. Like this one, the barrel's a one in five twist, which is built and developed to actually uh, stabilize heavier cartridges out of a smaller barrel. Uh, it's only about six inches, I want to say it is, seven inches barrel, so it's super compact. Um, and uh, to stabilize those rounds, it's just, you can actually notice it when I was comparing it to my other 300 Blackout build that I did. It was, this thing was just shooting flawless, just beautiful, tight groups. Um, I did zero the optic for uh, right about 50 yards, so we'll call it 50. And uh, the reason I did that is this actually has, if that can... Let's see if you can read that. I don't know if you can read that. There you go. Maybe you can read it when it's not upside down. But kind of just tells you a subsonic and supersonic zeroing, which uh, one thing I will have to do is I'll have to re-zero this once the can comes in because then it might be all funky and everything. But overall, um, I'm just going to say I love this gun. It is beautiful. I have no issues with it. Um, I can't really say they could have done much better. I actually, a lot of people have been complaining about the super thin mag pull grip they have on here. Uh, the MOEK, yes. So the MOEK grip, uh, people complain about that. I have no complaints with it. I think it's very nice. It's easy to get a nice tight grip on it. Um, manu you know, manipulate the pistol just one handed on this. It's beautiful. But um, yeah, so. Uh, there is one other thing, there is no for, uh, forward assist, and uh, I don't think you need it. I'm gonna be honest, I've never had to use it. Uh, I've shot a lot of guns, a lot of rounds, and I've never had to use it. Uh, it saves a lot of weight by removing it. Some people are gonna say they want it, some people are gonna say they don't. To me, uh, you can pretty much just beat the shit out of your gun, and most of the time it'll go into battery. But um, yeah. Just overall, I think it's a great gun. I have no complaints on it. I think it's really well built, very reliable so far. And uh, if anything comes up with it, I'll definitely post an update. If you guys have any questions about it, uh, go ahead and post down there. I'll try and do my research if I don't have the answer. But yeah, Q Honey Badger. Uh, just, yeah, if you guys are looking into one, I definitely recommend them. So there you go.